And let's start. Today I will present our uh, tourism project of languages and attitudes carried out in the Union cities and towns. We have in, uh, uh, two surveys which were conducted in the uh, largest cities in Lithuania, in Wisconsin and Lipeda in 2008-2009. And the second one was in 2010 and 2022. Uh, 12. And we, uh, they were social linguistic surveys. We asked about um, nationality, education, occupation, mother tongue, knowledge of languages, uh, about languages used with different internal cultures in various spheres, about course seating, about attitudes toward language and language learners. We had social linguistic data. And I will present this. Uh, and now uh, we have the data of last census, which was in 2011. The Ukrainians um, accounted 84% of our country's population. We had 6.6% of Poles in Lithuania. Uh, Russians have 5.8%. And Polish community constitutes the largest ethnic minority group in present-day Lithuania. If we compare this to 2001 census population ethnicity, we can see that groups change insignificantly. That this tendency that Polish community is the largest ethnic minority group is now, and we have set data. Uh, we have qualitative uh, and quantitative data from Jewish products. We have 6% of Poles, which means we, um, we have 296 Poles from our search. Uh, they answered that they are Poles when we asked who, who are you by ethnicity. They are answered, we are Poles, and we have so, uh, set data. One of the significant, the significant features of Polish community is related to its living area. Polish people reside in a relatively limited area uh, near the capital Vilnius, and the southern eastern part of Lithuania. And I will use this term, the southern eastern part of Lithuania. In Polish um, linguistic, we have Vilenszczyz. We will say this in the uh, Lithuanian Vilnius Karstas, it will be um, not much approved, and for this reason I will use South Eastern part of Lithuania. And now our social linguistic question. Who do you feel you are when you are thinking about yourself? Uh, let's mean who are you when what do you feel who are you? Not by origin, but what do you think? And we saw that those who are those by origin say, 71% of them say, yes, we are Poles. And you know, we can observe two tendencies. They, you know, their language, their culture uh, converts with Russian. And 6% uh, of them say, yes, we feel that we are Russians. And 10 of them, 10% of them feel that they are Lithuanians. Lithuanian. Uh, we can see that uh, another trend can be observed that uh, some of them feel that they are European and citizens of the world. And we can see that there are more Russians, more Republicans than Lithuanians who, who feel so. Why? It will be a construct of wider identity. An attachment to, to entire state is not demonstrated. And this trend is parallel with another. It may be observed that minorities don't identify themselves with the entire state. We tend to identify themselves with the place where they were born or with the town where they live. And this is the manifestation of local identity when a respondent feels the first home and in town where he, she was born. It's nice uh, map from our project. It is a product of our project. 
and we can see that red color here, 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 here. This means that here are respondents uh, who fills holes, and this is a southeastern part of the king, and it is not good for all the ones that uh, big um, distance, but it's nice there. Uh, if we compare the distribution of Russian ethnic group just for a moment, we can see that uh, Russians reside uh, in the biggest cities of Lithuania, in Vilnius, near the Kaunas and Kvaibele, and in some cities as like Visagina, Shinjan, uh, where a lot of Russians came uh, during the construction of nuclear power plant in, in Soviet times. And this is a map from, uh, uh, from census in 2001, where uh, the all ethnic minorities um, um, concerned. And we can see that the southeastern part of Lithuania is very special part of Lithuania, where more than 50% of ethnic minorities live. And, uh, uh, what does it, what this mean? A compact population of the territory with ethnic minorities influences the resistance of residing minorities to assimilation. That is um, that's our point in this question. Now, uh, native languages of our respondents for Lithuanian languages, uh, for Lithuanian town and cities, green color, that means Lithuanian language. And uh, Polish is orange. Um, the Finnish language is indicated as mother tongue by 81% of respondents. 15.5% of respondents specified Russian and that as their native language from all our respondents. And 5.5% uh, Polish, Polish language. Uh, we can observe that the number of Russian native speakers is higher by 5% compared to all interviewed Russians. Who, who indicates Russians as their mother tongue? They are Belarusians, Poles, Ukrainians, Moldovans, and others, ones who did not want, wish to review their nationality. And uh, the 50 the percent of native speakers other than Lithuania live in southern eastern part of Lithuania. In Vilnius, we have 40 percent of other native speakers than Lithuania. Um, in Asia, we have a very special situation where we have 95 percent of respondents who declared Polish as their native language as a, a, a Polish nationality. And Russian rebels in Visaginas, Shinchans, where a lot of Russians <coughs> live. Um, not all Poles uh, uh, declared Polish as their native language. We have 77% of respondents, of Polish respondents, who use um, Polish as mother tongue. 23% declared Russian. And, um, 10% of Lithuania. Uh, and it is similar percent as we have in uh, the latest our census, 79% in the in, in latest in the census declared Polish as mother tongue. Um, some interviewed Lithuanians responded that they have uh, two native languages, combination of Lithuanian and Russian and, uh, as native languages. And combination of Polish and Russian languages is popular among Poles. And now the most important language. What is the most important language? Uh, this map shows that the most important language for uh, my, for for, uh, for majority of respondents uh, from all Lithuanian town is Lithuanian language. That it's green, green color on our map. And uh, uh, qualitative interviews make it clear that ethnic minorities find Lithuanian the most necessary language for successful education and employment. 
English, uh, the yellow column, is mentioned on the second place. And we find passion, red column, uh, red column in the third place. Uh, the position of Russian language remained strong after the regaining of independence. And if we look at red column, we can see that a lot of answers are from the southern eastern part of Lithuania. And just for better visualization, let's see a nice picture. The most important language mentioned by all groups of respondents, by Lithuanians, by Polish, by Russian respondents, Lithuania, the second one is English, and Russian remains the strong position. Let's please compare this with, uh, with your experience in Poland. Uh, the state language, English, and the third is Russian in Lithuania. And now the most prestigious. Purple column. In purple column, we can expect that it will be English. 53% of all respondents mentioned that English is the most prestigious language, as well as in particular groups, English is the most prestigious. Uh, we can understand that it is strange similar to choices in other countries, but it is interesting to know that we have uh, we have Russian red column is still quite prestigious among young people. Uh, the latest exams, um, uh, data from exams uh, say that 81% choose the Russian language at school as a second foreign language during the natural exams. And the prestige of Polish is in the lowest position, it's 1% from our all respondents and 22% from Polish group respondents. Why is so? <laughs> We can uh, look for reasons for some weak position of Polish language because we observe that communication in English and Russian prevails at various level of uh, economies of our neighboring countries. The influence of English and Russian pop culture is very strong and nice picture. English language is the most prestigious for, for everyone, maybe for you too. And the whole language now is chosen as the English medical for the same reason. Certification. Uh, does it mean where do Polish, uh, Polish in the Lithuanian group use Polish, Lithuanian, and Russian? Where do they use? Uh, speakers often try to accommodate to expectation that others have of them when they speak. And multi multilingualism is a norm in this community. Children may be using one language at home and another at school. Respondents are aware of switching codes in speech. Uh, the mental processes of polls, uh, data for polls, uh, mental activity of polls, a multilingual environment occurs in Polish, white column, in, in Russian, and in Lithuania. And this is an indicator of multilingualism. And Poles write more in Russian than in Polish. Why? Because of, of schools, they, they, they have uh, graduate uh, sometimes. Uh, they, they graduate from Russian schools and a lot of answers that they are writing in Russian we have from Vilnius region, from uh, smaller towns of Vilnius region. They speak in Lithuanian, in Russian and in, Pol in Polish as well. This is uh, uh, an organization about their multilingualism. Official, official correspondence in, uh, in all place, uh, places is carried out in Lithuania. And this is largely determined by the respondent activity in public life. Uh, and this column for, pray, for praying. Language of religion is one of the most enduring of language choice. The Polish community in Lithuania is traditional and Catholic. 
the church fulfills the role of institution integrating the Polish environments. And it, it uh, strengthens the identification of Catholicism with the Polish language and with the Polish identity in these individuals who use Russian daily in their homes, but they are not orthodox. And about 43% of Poles pray in Polish, and this is the highest percentage of use of Polish language uh, in our data compared to, to this how they speak uh, the next uh, family. Family is the first area of our life. Family is the most important factor which determines the formation of identity of new generation. As the family must bring up children and form their positive identity in the society. Drawings reflect which language is used in Polish in Polish families. The use of Lithuania is growing. The that of Russia is quite stable, but growing a little, and the Polish language is decreasing. It's the first color of the grandparents with mother, father, partner, children, and grandchildren. If we compare ourselves, we have said that view. Mm -hmm. One phenomenon exists among non Lithuanian speakers of Lithuania. When children graduate from Lithuanian schools and begin answering their parents in Lithuania, in families, parents can speak Polish or Russian, and children can use Lithuania. In such families, bilingual, bilingual communication became acceptable when the speaker speaks a language which he she finds more acceptable, more comfortable. Uh, multicultural identity is formed for their children, but how can we explain this phenomenon? Um, it is parents' wish to help recreate their children's identity. Mixed marriages become more common among representatives of ethnic minorities. And now we can, we can predict the, that the likelihood of dominance of Lithuanian identity in mixed families will be, uh, will be no, very, very clear. It seems that parents' nationality is not inherited. When nationality is no longer recorded in our passport, which was important for ethnic minorities, the change and creation of ethnic identity becomes subject of individual choice, which depends on social factors. And the next year, very important, in modern society, the world perception is formed by media. It is in the second area of our life, world of information and culture, in which an individual participates by reading books, newspapers, listening to radio, watching TV. Joints reflect um, Polish preferences in the field of the media. We can see that um, uh, the most often Russian language, red column, uh, is, is um, chosen, is preferred among folks from him. When it comes to book, Russian is preferred to maybe uh, due to skills that were forged at school, supply of Russian books or classic literature, they go at home. Polish media loses their battle, battle even among Poles themselves because uh, it is not as popular as uh, Russian opinion media. Uh, and the influence of mass media in Russian language is fundamental in terms of maintaining of knowledge of Russia and spread, spread of Russian pop culture. And some, some examples from qualitative data. Respondents are aware that of fact that the Polish language in Lithuania and in Poland is different 
the progress, the imperfect knowledge of, of language. Let's reach um, some examples. What does it mean? Norse in Lithuania are involved in simplification of diglossia, 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 diglossia. In official settings and school, in churches and in institutions associated with Poland, such as in Polish embassy, they attempt to use a standard Polish variant, which has a power of language and can be considered as a variant of high prestige and a loud variant or dialect is used only in non-official situated situation and it is associated with uneducated people. Another example. Based on language prestige issues 
and the relationship between ethnic majority and minority. Summarizing, um, identifying with the place and location is essence to respondents who have chosen an identity of local Pole in Lithuania. Uh, these are mainly uh, respondents of older generations who do not change their envi environment. Their whole life and their parents' life is associated with Lithuania, with this town in Lithuania. Uh, the Polish speakers of Lithuania don't necessarily maintain the use of Polish in their family, but all indicators uh, of assimilation of all group, if you can observe this group in 2001-2011, we can say that assimilation is stable, stable. Um, weakness of ethnic identity of Polish speakers of Lithuania underlies that fact that Poles are affected by double assimilation. Um, their language converts to repression on the one hand, and on the other hand, they try to adapt to Lithuanians. Um, okay. Will ethnic minorities successfully integrate in Lithuanian society? if they do not reduce their mother tongue, the fundamental ethnic value of the group? Um, the first question. And the next, what will be good for young Poles? Uh, they don't want to be isolated in this concept representing one culture, Polish, for example, uh, in Lithuania. And because it would mean a restriction in terms of learning opportunities, working, participating in modern information society. But they don't inter they are not interested in conflicts. They show their attachment to their ethnic culture but they tend to adapt to the environment. Is the assimilation the next way? Respondent express their multicultural awareness and participation in several current cultures. And we can state that there is a tendency of assimilation. But how it will be, we don't know. That's all. Thank you for attention. Maybe the discussion will be our common.